I am here at the Kennedy Space Center and we're actually in one of the labs where they are processing the payloads and getting them ready to go into the SpaceX 4 Dragon capsule. Joining me now is Jennifer Wahlberg and she is an integration engineer here at the Kennedy Space Center. And Jennifer, um, probably got a lot of time on your hands right now, right? This is a real exciting week for <laughs> us. So the week before launch is always really, really busy for us. What are you doing here? What do you do to get these payloads ready? I'm part of a team of people that enables the science teams to do the last minute preparations for their science. You know, a lot of the science that goes to station can't be pre-prepared elsewhere and then shipped in. So we have the facilities and accommodations here um, to assign different labs to different teams. They can do the last minute science preparations or packing. Some things don't come together until right here at the facility and get packed at the last minute before we take it out to the vehicle. And that is your job, to get it ready to get out to the vehicle, and, and you have to have a lot of different equipment for that too, right? Yeah, I coordinate with a lot of folks, um, working with teams that are visiting here from payloads all over the country and um, the world actually, from JSC, um, from Marshall, and um, elsewhere. And really, it's getting everybody where they need to be at the right point in time. Um, some of the payloads have to maintain power during transport. We have equipment um, powered uh, that will maintain power and batteries for that. We have uh, other equipment that will maintain lockers in the or correct orientation while they're still in gravity. And you have these things left over. It's a rich history. You, you did this during the shuttle days too, right? Yeah, we would go out for late load at shuttles and would be there on the runway when it came back to early Disto. Wow. So now with SpaceX 4, you guys take it all out to the pad and then, mm -hmm. and then your day is done, right? <laughs> it's a long day. Um, a lot of these science payloads get loaded at L minus 24 hours. We actually start here gathering things up three to four hours before that, um, going around to the different labs and doing final packing preparations, loading our vehicle. Um, it's a 20 minute drive or so over to the SpaceX facility. Um, there's a team of people, small team. There's only about half a dozen of us here, plus um, a handful of folks that travel with us from other centers and we get out to the launch pad where SpaceX meets us and we hand things over to them and then they do installation in the vehicle. We stay throughout installation making sure everything goes, goes fine and gets loaded correctly. Um, we assist in the battery or the power transfer from battery to the vehicle power. You told me an interesting thing. So they have backups. Uh, if, if something were to go wrong, a lot of these payloads have backups back here, but mm -hmm. that would be a quick turn, right? It would. Um, they do have backups running here in the facility, but again, there's that drive to deal with, and sometimes it's not a one-for-one -one backup. The science and the primary unit needs to get moved over to the backup unit. So um, we're always looking at the schedule. How much time do we have left? Um, will it fit in? And then sometimes they, you know, I don't know that there's had to be decisions made very rarely in the past where something's not working, but let's go ahead and launch it anyway, and hopefully we'll get it working on station. All right, well, it sounds like exciting work, busy work, and really, really fast. I mean, it probably doesn't seem that way to you, though. <laughs> uh, right, I mean, we work for three, four months um, to, till we get down to this last week, but then when it comes down to it, our schedules are built in five, 10, 15 minute increments where we've got to be here at this point in time and here at the next point in time, um, just so we provide everything to SpaceX so they can keep their schedule.